UMC. You were you were racing. We were out racing, uh, doing. Uh, what were you running? Days. Uh, I have a Honda S two thousand. I raced with the SCCA. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah. So, what color is it? White. Hmm. I'm trying to remember if I saw a white one. It's, I've seen a couple. I don't see them on the road too often anymore. What's it's up? All, it's all broke now. I lost it's, compression on cylinder four. So. Yeah, you're uh, talking to someone who blew motor up on a turbocharged three fifty Z. So I, I know it well. Yes. <laughs> Did you see my pain? Yeah, I did. I did. Oh my gosh, I lost so much money. Charged, so it's, uh, uh, well, I've learned if you tune your car, it yeah, is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yep. Get ready to pay. Yeah, exactly. What do they say? They say uh, you can have a, a cheap, reliable, or fast, but you can only yeah. choose two. Yep, yep. Can't all, you can't, can't have all three. three. Exactly. So, What's your name? Mitch. Cool. You still watching? I do. Yeah. Thank you very yep. much. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Right on. So I, I see you're all dressed for the weather today. Yep. Well, uh, I'm on the 890 Adventure. I'm taking guns back Yeah. yeah. Uh, from Review. So right. this is from Gunnies, the great American gun store. Thank you, Wyatt. Uh, that's an F-12 get it going back and a PTR-91 pistol and a couple more guns nice. getting cool. returned. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a Patreon member? Not yet. No. Come on down. I the will. water's fine. I will. Just a couple bucks a month yeah. and a lot more content over there. Okay. A lot cool. more content. Yeah. Okay, so you know the rules, and guys just love it when I do gear checks. I know. I know, I, I know you're going to fail. Am I right? Um, maybe. We'll okay, see. let's see. We'll, okay. We may have some questionable things. We're going to start off with your watch. Apple Watch. Okay. I run it. I'm diabetic, so I got to... Mm, my... Gotcha. So it serves a purpose. Serves it's a, a purpose. risk computer. Yep, yep. Right. So it makes okay. it easier to... Gotcha. See what my blood sugar is. Good. So. so it's... And once you have an Apple Watch, it's really hard not to run it anymore. It really is. Yep. Yep. I have Apple Watch on my uh, right wrist and then I'm running a recon. Uh, I'm having a hard time filming. Bell and Ross homage right here. Come on, yeah. focus camera, focus. There it is right there. So that's my uh, my happy piece. Nice. I love it. Nice. Stand by for the review. Okay, gun. Gun. Uh, I'm rocking appendix carry. Look I've got you, a dude. shadow system. Uh, the MR, the, the, it's a Glock 19, 19 exactly. size one. Yep. I, I just reviewed the DR920 Shadow. Yep. I'm returning that to Handgun Haven today. Yeah, so this yeah. is the um, Warrior Poet Society edition. So oh, okay. really like that. It's got the, the Hollow Sun 5 NC. I can't remember what it is. But so let me see. Uh, I don't want to look at your belly button yep. again, but I, I am interested to see that you do have a red dot on it. And yep. I have been talking about that more often. Yeah. That I do see a lot of TMPers like you running a red dot. Yeah. You so it's like my, it. It's my first red dot. Okay. Um, and I do like it. Yes. Um, that some people say. Let's come takes, over here. Maybe it's a little quieter. Yeah, yeah. Some people say it takes a bit getting used to. Um, I, I guess on uh, presentation it does. You need to present, and there, there's a, I guess, a certain way to get it. Right. But I found after that's done, it's natural. So. Would you go back to not having it? N not for an everyday carry, I don't think. Do you carry it just for speed of presentation or I always said they're really good for high accuracy shots. Yeah. So like I you also, can do a headshot at 25 yards with that thing as long as you got stability, right? Yeah. So I also uh, ended up getting one of the, uh, the little laser uh, cartridges to, to practice at home, dry fire at home. Smart. So, and then I've got the app on my phone that will track. Uh, my, I'll put my links shot. to that below. I have seen those and yeah. I'm getting good reports from them. And I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. Ammo's obviously yeah. hard to find or is super expensive, so why not dry fire at home? And I bet by doing that, you're probably 80% there. Yeah. Because you're practicing your grip, you're practicing trigger control and sight alignment. Yep. Yep. Or in your case, red dot alignment. Exactly. So I, I work from home, so it's easy just to. Oh, that's nice. Practice at home. Do you like working from home? I do. Yeah, yeah. It's fun, huh? I do. Yeah. yeah Could nice. you ever see going back to a cubicle in the office environment? No. That no. would suck, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. I'm hearing that more and more that during the COVID scamdemic that yep. people are like, I don't want to go back to work. It's just so easy to work from home and like I can do any, so I'm IT, so I can do anything Outstanding. from anywhere. You're so. on a computer anyhow. Yeah. As long as you got a good internet connection, that's exactly. all you need. Exactly. No office yeah. politics. Nope. Nope. It's just me. Yeah. So. Are you married? Yes. What's the wife do? She, uh, she had to actually go into the office. So she works at, um, doTERRA and in their international. Gotcha. So anyway. Does she carry? Um, no, but she has her CCW. So, she, but she Why does doesn't carry. she carry though? I, I already know the answer, but I want the audience to hear it because a lot of women don't like to carry. Why yeah, is I, it with your wife? I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know why mm -hmm. she doesn't carry. Um, 
if you put your foot down and said, listen, you're carrying mm -hmm. and you jammed an LCP2 in her purse, would she do it? I think she would keep it in the purse. That's what I had to do with my wife. But yeah. I, I, Glock 43 I or that. Think, I think the on person is uncomfortable maybe. Maybe that's the reason, but. Maybe, they don't think like we do it. either because yeah. they don't see it because you and I we, we realize that things can go south right yep, yep. things especially in today's world how oh, jacked totally. up it is totally. and being armed just gives you options yep. my first option is to run away yeah. drive away if I can yeah. I'll do that yeah. Yeah. Same. I think most reasonable people would do that yeah who knows but, yeah. so I, I, I don't have a, a good answer for that but I, I would assume that she would just put it in her purse and she'd be fine Okay, you probably thought I forgot about the knife, but I didn't. How, where's no. your knife? So I've got a Boker. There you go. Uh, Doing good. Yeah, it's, it's not right. I, I'm not a fan of serration. I'm not either. I hate Boker serrations. Yeah. Um, so I have another one. I lost it somewhere in the house. Um, but that doesn't have the serration, but this one does. So. That totally passes as a knife. We'll, we'll run, totally we'll run passes. It. Yeah. Okay. Do you like it? Um, it's handy to have a knife. Is the sure. steel soft? Does it have to be resharpened? Of course, let me see your edge. I do. All your guys' edges always suck. Let's see. Yeah, that's awful. Yeah. Do you want me to sharpen that for you and send it back to you? If you want, yeah. I don't really want to, but... <laughs> then, then you don't need to. <laughs> okay. I can do it, too. Yeah, that edge is horrible. Uh, Her I love the wear you got on it. I though. know. I carry it every day. Yeah, I've got yeah. a paramilitary on me, but I can't dig it out with a suit, so yeah. it's just a little bit of a pain. No. Uh, oh, but I have... I have one in my tank back too. Maybe I'll show you guys. Okay. Okay. So knife. Uh, good jo job on the gun. Knife. Do you have a pocket knife or a multi tool? So I've got one of these Leatherman ones that I use. The scissors are garbage. Guess what? That counts. Yeah. They they broke. That they counts. broke real quick. The scissors broke quick. Why don't you yeah. send it back and get them fixed, dude? I didn't know you could. Oh yeah, okay. Leatherman's great. Yeah, okay, yeah. Send it so, back. They'll fix so it. So I'll break. like I'll like do this like thing where I'm like doing this to, to cut open something. But I mean for uh, for the uh, yeah for for the pliers. Here's maybe. the deal I'm gonna make you. So if okay. you join my Patreon, drop me a message. Okay. Remind me of our gear check, okay. Mitch. Right? Yep, Mitch. I'm gonna send you a free multi tool. Okay. Cool. It won't be anything special, yeah. but it'll it'll be like a medium size. Then you got, got a little Gerber Gerber shod, pry yeah, bar. Shard. Cool. Um, I actually replaced my sister. I was in California replacing my sister's door handle. She got a new door with this, only this. Interesting. Yeah. So it did come in handy in that it, job. Oh yeah, it was horrible. Not the right tool for it, but it got um, it done. It got it done. Um, so. so I, I usually have a titanium mini pry bar in my fanny pack, but mm -hmm. I stopped carrying it. But I'm missing it here and there. It's rare that I use it, but yeah. when it's when you have it, it's like saves the day, right? Totally. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Flashlight. Yeah, so I've got two. I always keep these keys with you me. You do have a flashlight. Yeah, though. I've got the little light. I mean, you're light. getting the minimum on it. Yeah. So that's pretty and good. Then, and then my keys, Look I've got that. another one. So. So two minis equal a normal one. Yeah. So you're too deep. Yeah. So I mean, and this one is is I mean, it's rechargeable, right? Plenty bright. Yeah. So, plenty bright for the things I need it. What's your duty load on your uh, carry? Do you know? Um, just give me grain and what kind of yeah, it doesn't have to be brand. So it's, I think it's the Hornady Critical Defense on the nine. I don't know. One twenty fours or one fifteens. I don't know. know. It's been so long since I've loaded, <laughs> I've had them that yeah. I don't shoot them that often. So I buy so them expensive. And, then, and then I just leave them. So I, I honestly couldn't tell you. So expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So does that gun make you happy? Oh yeah. It does. Yeah. <laughs> I I actually sold. I had a M M P nine C that I sold my I showed my wife this and I was like oh we really I really want this I really want this right got to get the CEO's uh, check off on it um, and she said if you sell the M&P you can get it right I'm like okay like a four five hundred dollar gun versus mm -hmm. like a twelve hundred easy no Did problem it. so well you know when it comes to wives and guns what my advice is right buy <laughs> it anyhow <laughs> excuse me yeah. You always consult with her. So, That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Yeah. No, screw that. You buy what you need to do. Sell yeah. what you need to do. Yep. Man's so, in charge. That's it, me. It, well, it was nice. Uh, right. We, it worked gone, out. Yeah. We, we've gone through the whole Dave Ramsey get out of debt thing. And so uh, oh, money for us together. So you're being, playing it real cool. We are on the same page with money. So, gotcha. Um, it you spend wisely. Yeah. It was, it was a no brainer to be like, hey, I want to do this. Here's what yeah. I can do. She's like, okay, do this. And I'll, it's approved. All right. Cool. Do you change your knives out when you carry? 
or are you just pretty much stuck in the rut with your uh, AK-74? Yeah, your poker? just, just kind of stuck in it right now. Um, yeah. Did you see Blade HQ's Dessert Warrior coloration of those knives? Um, Hilarious. It's like sprinkled <laughs> like a dessert. Not Desert Warrior, but no, Dessert Warrior. No, okay, no, I haven't. They, they no. sold out within like an hour. Did they really? Yeah, I was going to review it, and they just <laughs> flew. They have an XL, and then they have the medium size one. They're okay. hilarious. They oh, did it as hilarious. a joke, yeah. and they told Boker, hey, we want this coloration. Yeah. Like a bright turquoise blade, and Boker's <laughs> like, what? And then we want yeah. sprinkles right. on the blade and the handle. No, yeah. not the blade, but the handle. Yeah. It's, they're great. They're super fun. Blade is cute. It's Jake and team. Yeah. They're just hilarious. Yeah. yeah. They move locations, right? They're... Uh, on the other side yeah, that's right. No. A couple years ago. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're on the east side of I-15 okay. now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, I, you, did you see I had the G10 uh, Victorinox Cadet come out? I haven't. Oh, dude. Yeah, go to that, okay. that video's on the main channel. A couple okay. deep. Look okay. at it. They turn out great. I, I'm carrying one right now, actually. Yeah, okay. They're cool. awesome. Yeah. Uh, if you could buy any gear item that you wanted right now, I'm going to give you a price up to $1,500. What would you get? So I think right now, the thing I'm missing is probably a shotgun. Mm. I just want a pump, pump action shotgun. Pump shotgun. I'm giving you a price up to $1,500. I, I, know. I know. Would you get uh, an auto or a pump? I'd get a pump. You can't go wrong with a pump. I, I, there's, there is something, so, so. Winchester defense. SXP with an extended mag. Okay. Fantastic. So, so home defense, right? There, there is an element of um, I know my house better than anybody else that's coming into my house, mm -hmm. and um, I, I don't want to take a life, right? That's Agree. not, that's I don't not either. My, my, my thing. And so if a, a pump sound, that, that everybody knows that sound. <laughs> yeah. If everyone knows that sound and they hear that and I don't have to take a life, cool. Cool is right. If not, okay, there's, there's some buck. There's a, do what there, you gotta do, man. There's a in there. You know, well, so whatever. Do you have kids? No. So, but you obviously get that as a man of the house, it's up to you to protect your family. Totally. I mean, that's like job one. Yeah. yeah you put food on the table and you protect your family. If you yep. can't do that, yep. dude, what are, you, what are you doing? Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. And team peers get that. I mean, yeah. it's a, it's a gospel we preach here. Yep. So, and I'm going to give you, let's see, for your passing grade, you did better than I thought you would do. Did you? Yeah. Good. Way better. Okay. Now, yeah. but I'm going to, I'm not going to give you like super strong grades because you, you, you passed weekly in all yep. the areas. Yep. What do you say, Tim Pierce? I'm going to give him a B plus. That's pretty good. That's I'm above all right average, that. almost excellent, because yeah. you got all the bases covered. I'm all right with that. And you had no idea you were going to see me. No. No, no I was actually just walking out. <laughs> I was looking at a red dot for my AR pistol, and I was like, all right, we'll see. The, uh, and every time I run into you guys, I just break the camera. I said, like, what? Yeah. We got to do this now? I was like, yeah, we got to do it now. <laughs> we got to do it now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go check my uh, knife in my tank bag. It is a... An older Benchmade Ascent that I coated. So I always keep a knife in my right pocket. So that there. Then I have my para in my pants. And then let's see, my pistol I'm carrying right here is a P365 in a Kuziak leather. That carries so nice. Dude, that carries nice. Have you shot a 365? No, I haven't. Oh, you need to do it. If I was at a range right now, you and I'd go shooting right now. Okay. 365. I was just magical is it it's magical and so what are your thoughts on the Caltech pf9 still i know you initially let's go over here okay. Okay. um i actually i like the pf9 i have two of them and i'm not selling them yeah so that they was still my, work they're that, just not super comfortable to shoot agreed yeah so that was my first carry pistol actually do you still have it i do i, yeah. I wouldn't sell it I, i've i've actually bought three um mm -hmm. over the over the years and i still like the pf9 yeah as far as durability compared to something high end like a 365, it doesn't yeah. match that durability. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's but no it's point. meant for carrying a lot, shooting very little. Yeah. It weighs 12 and a half ounces, dude. Yeah. It's still one of the smallest, lightest 9, in, nine mm's anywhere. Yeah. It even beats the 365. Do, do you have the extension, so the eight round I magazine? Do. Yeah. I do. Uh, I, like I usually want to carry it just run a normal okay. in there, though. But I use it as a motorcycle gun all the time. Yeah. yeah I think so. it's a great LBE pistol, too, because it's yeah. so small, so light. It's like. Yep. You can just put it in a magazine pouch and oh, it's yeah. good to go. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I, I, I probably ought to re-review that thing, don't you think? Yeah, it's, I was gonna say, it's been a while since I've seen we it. We need to touch base, because probably everyone thinks I hate it at this point, and I don't. Yeah. Actually, I, some people have a real hard time shooting it, though. They can't hit with it. It hurts their little twiggo finger. It, it can get right in. <laughs> For me, it's not anything Knuckle? about the finger, but it's it's right where I'm on my where I'm gripping it because the serration maybe is just uh, really aggressive. And now I'm a, a computer boy. So <laughs> I got soft hands. Your hands are all yeah. soft, so, all it ish. Yep. Uh, I I don't have a problem shooting it, but I there I've heard a ton of complaints about it. It's very uncomfortable to shoot. Oh, I got another gear check waiting for me right here. Line up here, bro. I've been on a second. Come on, no. Oh no, no, no. you can't go back to your car. We're gonna stack them deep. Sell them I'm gonna cheap. go get in here. And I'll come back. Okay. You be here don't for you a go? Go? You go to your car. I might be. <laughs> really? Yeah. Where's your gun? Let's see if you have a gun right now. Right now. Where's your gun? I don't. Find my, oh! Find my first one here. I'm not going to be good for a gear oh! check. Car video at the track. That's right. He's that's, a car guy. Well, He's a car guy. That's yeah. 2000. That's 2000. Dude. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Let me cover this up. Someone doesn't rip my gun off. That's an 890 adventure, dude. Watch for the review. Hey, it's been good meeting you, man. You too. Yeah. I'm going to give you a B plus. I almost went A minus, but let's not yeah. get carried away. Hey, I understand. Damn, it's, a, son. it's the boker, right? I mean. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good little EDC blade, but had you paired it with a tactical blade, yeah. like a cold steel, yeah. we'd be looking in A range. Okay. The, the knife counts for a lot. The light counts for a lot. If you carry like a CR123 powered light, eh, yeah. maybe push you to the A range. Okay. Good to know. All right. So if guys want to contact you, I know they love meeting you guys. So how do they get in touch with you? If I am not on anything. Okay, Honestly, good. Like, good. Let's stay anonymous then, yeah. right? Anonymous is best. <laughs> exactly. So. All right, so you can contact me via Patreon if and when you guys can fit it into your budget. Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. Drop me now. Yeah. You got a free multi tool waiting for you. Yeah. I'm serious right. about that. I'll send it to you. Cool. Yeah, Sounds maybe good. one of these days I'll sharpen that damn knife for you. Yeah. But the serrations, I mean, I'm only sharpening like, you know, the two inch portion. And, and honestly, I wouldn't buy another serrated knife. I'm yeah. not, not a fan. Live and learn. Yeah. If only someone had been reviewing and saying that for the last 15 years. I wonder who, who, oh, that's right. I've said it about a bazillion times. Okay, so this one, so I, I got, I had, like I said, I had two of these knives, right? One of them's serrated, one of them's not. And I can't remember if I was gifted the serrated one or if I bought the serrated one. Okay. So we'll I've you, had them for a while. You have a knife. That's yeah. the big thing. You have a knife. And the bow great. Cool helo shot. Um, the Boker's a great knife. I just think it's a good EDC knife. Just yeah. all around EDC choice. Yeah, just serration is my, my fancy. Okay, uh, what kind of content would you like me to do more of? Um, so, what are your thoughts on 3D printing? I'm in favor of it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, as far as me making a video on it, that's a good way for me to get my YouTube channel canceled. Yeah. If I were to post a video on 3D firearm printing on my main channel, mm -hmm. it'd be easily a strike yeah i can't do it uh i don't really know that much about it but i know of the process i know it's viable i know the atf is against it yep. and anytime the leftists are against it i'm pretty much for it yep. and i love it because it decentralizes firearms production totally and it just puts power to the people and i'm all for anything that does that yep. uh so yeah i love it i think it's great i think everyone should have one yeah and it's uncontrollable. I don't care what they do with it. It's uncontrollable. Files the technology is going to be out there. there. The files out there. The data is out there. You can't control it. Yeah. The, the cows are out of the barn. Yep. Agreed. What do you think? I, I agree completely. Um, so I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube about it lately. Um, a couple of people I've been following. Print, shoot, repeat. It's in one of them. Seems like people are very um, scared to let their identity go out when they're doing 3d printed videos yeah they'll get january uh, 6th yeah so um but so so that print shoot repeat guy is, is one who's hides his identity yeah i don't blame and, him a bit. maybe part of just his thing too um but, i fully support him doing yeah. that fully but yeah no I, I i find it very interesting um and and fun technology cool yeah. to look at so all right. Yeah. Well, super nice meeting you, Mitch. Yeah, I hope well. to see you again. You. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you an A on your beard, by the way. Your man beard Thanks. gets an A. That's Does the wife like it? No. She but, doesn't? So Does she want you to like shave it off? Yeah, but she, she wants the long hair. And I'm usually uh, a short hair. How long would she want your hair? If it was up to her. Like Samson style? Like mm, a fucking... No. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> 
like a flipping uh, ponytail? I, I don't. I don't think so. But I think she's she'd like a little bit more of the wave. So I said, uh -huh. well, you, you can have the wave, but a beard, yeah. or no beard and short hair. I wish I had your hair, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Quaff. It's, Total quaff. It's all straight. I yeah. Mean, I'm old enough where I'm supposed to be getting bald, so that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I'm finally there. You're, you're ahead of the game. <laughs> oh, I'm ahead of the game. <laughs> I am. All right. This is Mitch, the cool. TMP or Gunny's, a great American gun store. Awesome TMP. So glad to have met you. Signing off. Good See fun. you.